Reuben, back for another season, come back looking trimmer, looking leaner, looking ready to go. Yeah, um, just had a, a pre-season, obviously uh, it's a good opportunity to you know top up and get yourself um, ready for the season proper. But I think nowadays, you know, in the off-season, a lot of the lads maintain their fitness as it was not, not the same, you know, a few years ago where you go away and you sort of use pre-season at the club to get yourself fit. But I don't think you can come back sort of without having done the, the pre-season programme because you'll pick up injuries such as the load now and you know how football's changed. So yeah, I've come back in relatively decent shape and hopefully now with the, like, the 90 minutes that I'm hoping to play, um, I can take it on another level, yeah. You say about that change, from when you started to where you are now, how much more professional is it and how much more professionally do you take it as well when you're in the close season? Yeah, um, obviously you see your career sort of, you know, not, you know, going on a line, peaking type thing. You, it sort of goes and it can stagnate, it can dip, you go again, have, have flirts, flirts are form, and then you, you, you try and pin down, like, why, why is that happening? You know, you can, you get to an optimum you play your optimum game, why can't you produce that performance every um, every weekend or every Tuesday night, as it were? And then you put it down to consistency, why aren't you consistent? You're not you're not physically, you can't physically do the output, you know? And um, I just think for myself, um, I've tried to get to a level where I'm giving myself the best opportunity for my own natural physical attributes, and, you know, talent, or as it were, to come out in the best possible way on a, on a more consistent basis. So taking professionally you have to if do you know what I mean I've been how long have I, I think this is like my 14th season as a professional so I'm, I'm still here you know um there's got to be a reason why type thing yeah definitely um and you had a slight change to, to your diet as well um mm. over the summer just talk me through that and the reasons behind it is it just purely because of the football club um you know back home I'm, I can I can honestly say now um you know, I, I look for the best in what we can do as human beings in the world. And I looked at it and I just, I wasn't in agreement with, you know, the meat industry. That's first things first from way back. And it so happens, I can get it off my chest now. Um, in, Ap in April, with five games ago, my family were dealt a blow. My missus got diagnosed with cancer. And um, we went down like sort of an alternative route as, as to regards, with regards to, you know, treating her, I call it symptoms you know, to get the best, to make the best out of a, a terrible, obviously terrible situation. And um, that has completely changed our lifestyles with regards to, you know, how we eat, how our lifestyle. And one of it was, you know, cutting out meat and dairy, because I think it's one of the major factors as to why it's, um, it's a common, you know, denominator in why people get ill. And I'm not talking just cancers and, you know, it could be anything, your diabetes, your strokes, your heart diseases, your mental illnesses. That's my belief, you know, it might not be other people's belief. But I do say from that situation now, I needed the change came about and um, I would like to highlight like um, those last five games. I, I feel like I owe the Forest Green fans, you know, five five solid games because I mean, when I when I came to the club, I thought I, I came and made a real impact, you know, and we managed to stay in the league. But the, the last five games, I felt I was a good asset to the team, but perhaps men, men, mental wise, I was, I was lacking in any energy and reaction simply because I must have had you know, I had things in my mind, but I put myself forward to play because I thought it would help the team. But if anyone wants to know why I couldn't run in those last five games and I had no energy or no, you know, a lack of drive about me, was um, there's a reason why, you know, my head was all over the place. I think it's only natural that, you know, that, that did happen. But thankfully I did put myself forward because I was able to play a big part in, you know, that fantastic derby win. And I, I'll take credit for Doiji's, is it goal of the season he got? So yeah, I'll um I'll take a lot of credit for that for slipping them in. So um, yeah, cut a long story short. I don't want to be giving you a whole, you know, autobiography about my summer, but um, that's why the change came about. Um, with regards to becoming a plant-based human being, not athlete, because I look at it as a bonus. That it helps my football, but from my personal in my personal life, for me, myself, and my kids, that's the route we're going down. And um, I can only at this stage, I can only see benefits. I mean, to I'm, finish it off, yeah. I'm sure every fan can sympathise with you for mm. those last five games. The mental strength you must have needed to to get yourself back up for mm. those games. I mean, what did that take, and, and how how have things changed since then? You know, um, I just I needed my home life to stay relatively normal. I didn't want my kids. My kids always ask me, "Where are you going?" I'm going to work, kids. 
if I always almost turn around to them, you know, the, the kids, they're, they're not, they're not daft. They pick up on things anyway. And we've kept it away from them quite well. And I just think um, to get, to build myself up, I had to try and come in and try and, this was almost a release for me to come in and try and work. But you know, when you're dealt a situation like that, you, you come in and sometimes in life, you know, it runs smooth and all of a sudden you, you sit back and you've got your own time. And it, it was really, really tough. The situation now is that I think for my partner, we're in, you know, she's in quite a positive, you know, position. She's in a recovery period now from surgery type things. And um, that meant I couldn't get along to go away to Mexico this summer. <laughs> so you can imagine I've just been literally, me and her, we, we just went to the gym all summer, completely changed her lifestyle. And, you know, I, got, I have to say, I'm so proud of her, the transition she's made as a human being. She's been inspiring to me to say, like, if she can go from zero to 100, as it were, why can't I do it for my profession? Do you know what I mean? You know, everyone's always told me throughout my, my career, oh, if you got fit, it's always if you got fit, you could be this, you could be that. And I see, you know, go from being a certain particular human being to a different one and then see the benefits. You know, I'm, I've gone on that. I've gone on that journey with her. And um, as I said before, I can only see positives from that, from that sort of change of lifestyle with regards to, you know, simply putting your diet. Yeah, I'm sure everyone at FGR is sending their, their, mm. their thoughts to, to your wife I appreciate that, yeah. Um, does this mean you're approaching the season with a different attitude then, a, a different Ruben Reid coming to, to what maybe we saw last season? No, football is what it is for me. You Listen, it's a game. Do you know what I mean? If I'm playing cricket in my back garden, my kids, my, my kid's not hitting my ball away over the, the fence. You know, our ball bounces at him. He's only six and he's got a, he's got to hook it. You know, if I'm playing table tennis, poor. I... I'm winning. So, with regards to a different Ruben Reid, I think it's opened up a new football. Is let's break it down. This is football. My job, life is. It's all about life, you know. So, football's part of my life. When it when you ask, does it help in my football? No, if it doesn't change much. Every day's. I just see now. Every day's an opportunity. You know. You come out here. Why, if you're here and you're feeling something, why not push through it? Why not, you know, grind it through? Because. There's someone out there who'd want to be, you know, who can't, who can't come and do it. Who wants to be here doing it type thing. And I think a lot of guys now, and a lot in the younger generation, they do, it's almost like it's, um, it's a task. Some of the older lads will say it's in chess. Mind you boys, we're getting paid to do this, you know. And it, it's enough, there's no truer um, sort of um, saying, you know, this is coming here, make the most of it. Train hard, sweat, it's, no one's, you're not going to, you're not going to get hurt. Go and recover, come back and do it again. But I would, I would say I'll be definitely, I'll be appreciating my time a lot more, um, you know, being able to run around with, being able to move and run and function because I've seen someone closest to me not be able to do that and be literally, you know, bedridden for the last few years until bang, all of a sudden you get all these symptoms, bang, you've, sorry, Miss Clark, you've got cancer type thing, you know, so I know if I'm appreciating as cheesy as it sounds, I'm appreciating every minute of my life, definitely. Yeah, it gives you a whole new perspective. A whole new, like that listen, a whole new, it's, it's, it's under, you, there's, I'm not the only one who's gone through it in life, but I'm, I'm, I'm confident enough to open up and tell people, you know, I'll say to lads, you know, just, just be careful, you know, how your mental state and how you feel towards life, because there are things around the corner that you just can't plan for.